go. Look at that view. Got to be a three pounder. Maybe, yeah, I'd say three pound. This one again, not as big as the other one, but still nice. We're we're actually in the lobster shed. This is where the lobster tank is still running with the salt water. A few shrimps in there, but no lobsters. Now I took the lobsters out and I put them into here, which is the freezer. So I take a drawer like this, put the lobsters in, and then boil up a pot of water like so, and then straighten the pot, and you see they're all in there. Uh, probably steamed up the camera a bit there. Yeah. Now. That's the way I like to do it. Um, I like to do it. I don't like doing it at all, to be honest. But um, I tend to put them in the freezer for at least half hour. You don't want too long. You don't want them frozen. And if you drop them straight into boiling water, they they've literally shut down by that point from the freezer. Naturally, in the wild, that's how they would die or hibernate. Kind of thing. They almost go to hibernation. I I see it in the tank here. You'll see how the lobsters in the winter they'll slow right down. In the summer, they're moving around all over the place. In the winter, they almost go into a hibernation state. So anyway, we're going to pop them in there, and then when they're cooked, I'm going to let them cool down the water, and then we'll be taking them out and cutting them up. So cooking times, almost forgot. You want to put your lobsters in, then you want to bring them back to the boil, then drop them to a simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. And you really don't want to cook them any longer. If you cook them longer, you'll find the flesh will get tough. I normally do most of mine at 15 minutes, and if the lobster's a bit larger, then I'll sort of do 20 minutes. Right, so as you saw in the video, we cut, uh, we cooked the lobster up in the pot. This is one of the lobsters now, so now I'm going to show you how to deal with the lobster once you've cooked it. Um, this is just for picking. You can obviously cut a lobster in half, and you can barbecue it or do whatever you like. So what you need is you put it on a big board like this. You get yourself a nice big knife like this. Basically, you put the knife in around the head area, like this, and you cut all the way down and have a bit of tissue because there's going to be water coming out as well. Now, you can either split the whole lobster in half if you want, or you can do what I tend to do is just break the tail once you've cut through like that and flip it over, and there you have it. Now with the tail, let me just get this water, with the tail you need to, there's a little pipe that runs down inside, 
which is here. You just need to take that out. It'll run all the way to the back, look down here. Just get rid of that. It's the same as in the prawn. And this you can just take out as well. And all you do is just pop out the meat from there, like this, with your finger, or with a knife, or whatever you prefer. Just take the meat all, all, all the way down, like so. And there you have it. Nice piece of lobster. And the claws, well, like just like a crab, break, the, break them off, break them at the joints like that, and then just take the meat out, break the shell, you can use the back of the knife, or you can use hammer, whatever you prefer. And that's how you pull a lobster apart. The legs, they're very small, it's up to you if you want to fiddle with them, you can get the meat out, or you can just suck the meat out of those. And just inside the shell here, sometimes you will find just a little bit, a bit of meat there at the top. You can just pop that out, and there's a bit there, and the same on this side. Sometimes it comes out with the with the actual tail, but often it'll stay behind. Just take those two bits out. If you want to pick around in there, there is meat in there, but it depends how fiddly you want to be with the meat. You can find little bits in there. I tend not to bother. I just do the tail, the claws, and the legs. And that's how you cut open a lobster. So there you have a nice plate of lobster, ready for the table.